Mm. I know. Uh, my voice doesn't sound like my own right now. But, you know, I'm dealing with a sinus infection, which is no big deal. Uh, I have them a lot, so, you know, with the weather changing, it being, you know, cold and hot, you know, people are going to get sick, which a lot of people are. So, you know, over the years, over the last about 20 years, you know, I had somebody in my life who I thought, you know, was a good friend. And it turns out that that person, you know, degraded me, you know, degraded the people I was with. And it just got to the point where I got sick of it. I didn't deserve any abuse, but I was having to constantly put up with abuse in a friendship. And, you know, no matter what I'd done for this person, it was never good enough. I was never good enough. And by cutting this person out of my life, I'm happier. I may, you know, sickness may come and go, but that's okay. Because God takes care of me. And He takes care of the people who I love. So, you know, I had to, you know, cut a person out of my life in the last couple of years. And, you know, I can honestly say my life is less stressful. It's better. I have true friends now who it doesn't matter where they're at, if they're, you know, here in town or at work or even online. You know, I have wonderful friends now. I don't have to put up with anybody's abuse and downgrading me and calling me names and making fun of my body. I don't have to put up with that anymore, and I'm glad, because, you know, there's more to life than, you know, there's so much more to life than what's the here and now. You know, as you get older, you realize who your true friends are, and as you get older, you find out who you are, what your morals are, and what you're willing to put up with. You know, I tried everything I could to help this person out. You know, my husband and I tried everything we could to help this person out. And it was never good enough. So, we got to the point where, you know, we were about tired of dealing with the stress. This was adding to our life. But, you know, we didn't want to put up with anything childish. It was... You know, let's just say this way, childish crap. And I'm not going to put up with anybody's childish crap. I've been an adult pretty much since I was 16. My mother was having health issues, and, you know, a lot of really growing up then. But with me, you know, I grew up quick, and I'm not going to deny it. I had to. But, you know... I'm glad I did, because once you grow up and you have responsibilities, it shows you, you know, who is still childish and who will remain childish. And, you know, it came down to, you know, this person sending me threatening emails, and, you know, that was just crazy. Um, and I didn't deserve that. My family didn't. My place of business didn't deserve that. And, you know, it's sad to say, but everything I do now, I do for one purpose, and that's my family and God. And I do want to please God. I don't want to please, you know, nobody out here. I want to please myself, and I want to please God. So... You know, I'm going to continue to do myself, my friends. I have two weddings coming up, and I have a lot to do. You know, a lot of family events coming up. And I really can't wait to get all this, you know, get all this and get to this summer and go swimming and stuff. So, you know, 
I don't intend for this to be a long video, but most of them usually are, and I apologize ahead of time. But I just have something, you know, to say, and it's on my heart, and it's on my mind. But, you know, you know who your true friends are, and you know who, you know, if you were, somebody gets proved right, you know, it's, it's sad, but, you know, at the same time, you know, I put up with abuse from this person for years, and I just got to the point where, you know, I'm an adult. I don't have to tell this person where I go. I shouldn't have ever had to do that. And, you know, as an adult, I do what's pleasing to myself and my family as well as God. <clears throat> and so, that being said, you know, I want to thank all my true friends, you know. And my new friend Sam, I'm um, so grateful that you're in my life. And, you know, it's amazing, you know. It, it's an amazing turnaround from what I expected. And, you know, I, I didn't, you know, because of what I'd went through before, you know, this person had gotten so many fake profiles and, came at me with them. I just didn't know where to go. And then after the threat started, I did go to my local, you know, my local sheriff's office. And I, I really didn't have any choice, you know. Being threatened the way I was being threatened, nobody deserves that, no matter who you are. You don't deserve it. And if you're being mistreated by anybody... I wouldn't put up with it for one minute, and I'm not going to put up with being mistreated ever again by anybody. And so far, the only thing I can say is that my friends, my new friends Sam, have never done that. They've been nothing but respectful and sweet, and I couldn't ask for better friends. So... Sam, I know you're probably watching this video, so, hey girl, and I love you, like my little sis, you always been a little sis, and I know we don't talk a lot, but hopefully, you know, once my schedule kind of clears out after all these weddings and stuff, we'll be able to, so, I'm going to tell you all, God bless you all, and I hope you all have a good day, good night, good afternoon, wherever you're all at out there. And I just want to thank everybody who watches my channel. And, you know, I just want to thank Bill and tell him God bless you because, you know, I do these videos mostly for myself, but, you know, to see how I've changed. And... All I gotta say is thank you. From the bottom of my heart, and God bless you all. So, I'm gonna go post this on YouTube. See you all around. <laughs> Bye.